Hey guys, good morning. It's my, my name is Paola Garcia. As you guys may have noticed, I am in my kitchen today. And that is because we might get a little bit messy since we're going to be using flour. And we're also going to be using a balloon. So we're going to be putting things inside of our balloon. And the balloon may pop, it may break. And when that happens, everything that's inside of the balloon is just going to go everywhere. So if it spills on the kitchen, it's fine because we can easily clean it up. However, if it spills in the living room or if it spills in the bedroom, that's going to be very hard to clean up. So today we are going to be doing not one, but two really uh, quick, simple activity. And for both of the activities, we're actually going to be using a balloon. And I'm going to need you guys to use three of your five senses. So I don't know if you guys know what the five senses are, but the five senses includes the sight. So we're going to be using our eyes to see. We also, the five senses also includes hearing. Hearing, so we use our ears to listen. Taste, so we're going to be using our tongue to taste. The nose for smelling, so smell, and touch. So we're going to be using our, you know, we need our hands to be able to touch and feel something. So right now you guys are using your sight, your eyes, and your ears to listen and see as I give out the instructions, the steps on how to do the activity. So for this activity, you guys are actually going to be using your eyes, so the sight, Hearing, so the ears you guys are going to listen, and touch. So we're going to be needing you guys, your, your hands, so you guys can feel. So let's get started. So before we get started, we are going to be pulling our sleeves as far back as possible since we are getting messy. And I'm going to use an apron. You guys don't need one if you don't want to, but I'm going to use one so I don't get really messy on my clothes. So there we go. So we're going to start by making a stress ball. So for the stress ball, we are going to need an empty water bottle, three balloons, any the color is your choice. You guys can pick any color you want. We are also going to need a funnel. And if you guys don't have a funnel, don't worry about it. You guys can use a sheet of paper to make the funnel. And I'll show you guys how to do one later. Some scissors. Um, some Sharpies so you can decorate your balloon however you want or your stress box. We're going to need flour or cornstarch. Some beans. And rice. And it's optional, but you guys can use yarn to make the hair of the stress ball. So it's going to end up looking something like this. This one is made out of flour. And I decorated it. I made a smiley face with the Sharpie permanent marker. And I made some very long hair for my stress ball. So let's get started. So we're going to first need our empty water bottle in our funnel. And like I said, if you guys don't have a funnel, that is fine. You guys can make a funnel with a sheet of paper by rolling the paper. Like so. We need tape. We're going to tape this. And then we're going to cut it. So some 
something like this. And then you can put this inside of the water balloon. I mean, the water balloon. The empty water bottle. Like so. So I'm going to use the funnel. And we are going to fill it up with some rice. We're going to pour the rice into the water bottle. And you can put as much rice as you want. I think this should be good enough. I think I'm happy and satisfied with this one. So now we got to choose our balloon. And you guys can pick whatever color you guys want. Maybe if you guys have a favorite color or your second favorite color or maybe even your least favorite color, it's up to you. So I'm going to choose um, a blue balloon and I'm going to blow up the balloon. Now, I want you guys to be careful because the balloon can pop while we're blowing it, so we got to be very gentle. So now this part is the tricky part, it's a bit hard, so you guys may need help so you guys can ask your parent or your siblings to help you out right here. But in this case, I'm alone, I'm going to do this on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the neck of the balloon. So this right here is the body, this right here is the neck, and this little part right here is the mouth. So I'm going to hold on to the neck. I'm going to grab onto the balloon and I'm going to twist it. Twist it a bit. It ends up looking something like this, I guess. I don't know if you guys can see. And now we're going to put the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the water bottle. And make sure that you leave no space for the air of the balloon to come out. You gotta make sure the air stays in there. Because that's the only way we're gonna be able to fill up to all the rice inside of the balloon. So now we're gonna be pouring the rice into the balloon. And, you know, you may need to squeeze it a bit, tap it, shake it, to try to get all of the rice inside of the balloon. So I'm going to tap it. I'm almost done. A little bit of a shake, you know, squeeze. inside we're gonna hold on to the neck of the balloon tightly as we pull off the balloon from the water bottle Look at that. now we're gonna let the air out very slowly and gently. Look at that. And we are going to tie a knot. So there you have it. A stress ball made out of rice. 
So now we're going to repeat the same steps for the beans and the flour before we decorate our stress ball. So we grab another balloon. In this case, I'm going to choose an orange one. We're going to bring our water bottle again. Use our funnel. We're going to be pouring the beans inside. Give it a little shake on the funnel so that the beans can go inside. That was already too much. The beans got stuck. So let's give it a little shake. A little bit more. Another shake. So we gotta pour a little at a time because if we pour even this amount, this much, the beans get stuck in the hole. So we have to like shake it. Shake, shake it. We're going to blow the balloon. Now, I forgot to mention this, but when you're blowing the balloon, be very careful because the balloon can pop. I don't remember if I mentioned it again, but I'm going to repeat it again if I did. So be very careful when you blow it, the balloon can pop. Okay, hold on to the neck. With your other hand, grab onto the balloon and twist, twist, twist. And then put the mouth of the balloon onto the mouth of the bottle. Now we untwist. Okay, now we're going to pour the beans in. It may also require a shake. A squeeze, or even a tap. I find the tap works better with the beans. And again, like you said, once you're done, use your thumb and your index finger to grab onto the neck of the balloon. Pull tightly. Don't let any air escape yet. And then try to pull the balloon out of the mouth. We're going to let the air out again. Give it a little tap. Make sure we let all of the air out. Now we're going to tie it again. And there you have it. Beans. And the last one, 
is flour. So I have my flour inside of a bag to make sure that the flour doesn't, because it can get a little bit messy. So I leave the flour if it like goes everywhere, it stays inside the bag. And for this one, what I'm gonna use is like a cup, a measuring cup or anything, or something like that, to grab onto the flour and then pour it into the funnel. So we need our water bottle again, our funnel. I'm gonna open the flour, pull the bag. Or the cornstarch, if you guys were using cornstarch. The measuring cup inside. So I'm using a one cup. The measurement is one cup for the one I'm using, but you guys can use half a cup, one fourth. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this one is actually the messiest one. So we're gonna gently pour it through the funnel. Now, if you find that the funnel gets really full, you can use a pencil, a chopstick. I'm using a chopstick and this is to push the flour into the bottle. So I don't know if you guys can tell but as I am sticking the chopstick in and pushing it through. It makes it easier for the flour to get go inside it, um, the empty water bottle. So like this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pour a little bit more. I mean, you can, you guys can leave it up, you know, this much. Actually, I think I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. So we're gonna put the flour to the side. Okay, so we're done with our funnel. So right now I'm gonna put it in the sink because if I leave it here, the surface is gonna be really gonna get really messy. There we go. I'm also gonna put the measuring cup on the sink. Put my hand like this so if the flower falls down, hopefully it gets on my hand and not on the surface or on the floor. There you go. And now I'm gonna seal it back up. And tie a knot. Like so. We are gonna choose our balloon. So I have a blue one and an orange one. So I'm gonna pick a different one. I have red and yellow. I'm gonna choose red. I'm gonna blow it. Again, twist. Put the mouth over, mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the empty water bottle which is now filled with
flower. So I don't know if you guys can hear, but I didn't put it in properly, so the air started to come out. Now I'm gonna try again. Okay, this one's better. Okay, now let's put it in there. I'm gonna shake it. I mean, tap it. You guys can also shake. But I think tapping might be better. Or no, no, squeezing is actually better. Goes in the fastest. sink right now because if I leave it here it's gonna make my surface very messy. Okay so now gently this one especially gently let the air go out because I don't know if you guys can tell but the flower wants to come out and if you go you go too fast the flower is going to go out everywhere, on the computer, on the surface, on your clothes, everywhere. So be very careful. Oh, see, I'm already making a mess. My hand is filled with flour. Now we're going to tie a knot. And I don't know if you, it's if you guys can tell, but it's filled with flour, so I'm gonna clean this up. So I'm gonna step out real quick and wash it with water just to get all the flour out. And I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna use actually a towel because we use a napkin. There you have it, and I'm gonna clean the surface because it just got messy. And now we get to decorate it. So I'm gonna start with the hair, and I'm gonna use the blue yarn, and I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers like this. I think this is good enough and I'm gonna cut it like this put it on the surface and I'm gonna cut another piece it's a bit long but that's okay put the yarn to the side and then we're gonna put the, we're gonna tie this yarn with this one right here. We're gonna make a knot. So, and now we're gonna tie this around the neck of the balloon, but under the knot. Or if it's not possible, that's okay, but if you guys can try to put it under the knot, that'd be even better. But you guys can also cut it like that. But I think I'm gonna leave it. This is gonna be like a little ribbon. It's kind of cute. And now we get to make our faces. This is probably the only one that's gonna have hair right now. I may add hair later on to the rest of them, but I don't know. So now we're gonna use a 
permanent marker, any color. I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna make draw some faces onto the balloon. So I'm gonna for the flower, this one is gonna be excited. So this is gonna be the eye. I'm gonna do another eye. And then the mouth. And this balloon is very excited. Like that. Little cute. And then the rice. This one is gonna be mm, surprised. So I try to make sure that the mouth and the neck are the it's this is going to be like if I want to add hair, I need to make sure this one's like up and this part is down. So the eyes are going to be up here and the mouth is going to be down here. So I said he was going to be scared, right? Or surprised, surprised. Okay. So he needs the eyebrows and then a shocked expression. So like a little circle. He's like, oh my gosh. I am surprised to be here. I am made of rice. What? See, he's very surprised. What do you, what do you guys think he's surprised about? And in this one, I'm going to make him angry. He is angry. So I'm going to start with the eyes again. It can, it's kind of a bit hard, but that's okay. Uh, very angry. I don't know why he's angry, but he's very angry. He's very angry. Oh, angry and upset. So now we actually get to play with our stress balls. You know, we get to squeeze them, stretch it. And just be careful because after stretching it too much, it will eventually, or it could break. It happened to me when I was stretching the rice too much because I made one, an extra one, yesterday. And I was stretching it too much and it broke and the rice spilled everywhere. But like I said, because I was in the kitchen, I was able to clean it fairly easy. So just touch it. Feel it. Your, use your sense of touch. Use your hands. What does the rice feel like? What does the flour feel like? What does the beans feel like? This one feels really hot, the beans. Like I mentioned, it does break. But the good thing is that I made an extra one, so no worries. So for right now, I'm gonna... Maybe that's why he's angry, because... He knew he was going to end up breaking. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm pouring it onto a plate right now. Like I said, be very careful. To get me out in the kitchen. Okay, we're going to try again. Oh, this one's also a bit angry. Hope this one doesn't break. So let's feel it. You know, it's very hard. Whereas this one's very soft. The flower is very soft. Very soft. I think this one might not break. No, it's less likely to break unless I stretch it. The rice also. It's kind of hard, but not as hard as the beans. You know, does, does it bounce? The rice doesn't. The beans don't. Eh, it kind of. It's the flour. You know, it does it stretch? This one stretches very, very easily. The rice, a little bit. But look, as we stretch it, it becomes a circle. You know, as we stretch the beans, it's, it's a bit hard, but, you know, you can also make a circle. This one, 
kind of goes back to its original shape, but not really, just a little bit. You guys can also use your listening ears and you can put it close to your ears and listen. You know, what do you guys hear? Does, this, does it sound the same, different? Definitely the flower sounds different from the beans and the rice. But yeah, there you have it. It's a pretty fun, easy activity. Make sure that when you're playing with it, stay in the kitchen. But like, yeah, because this one can get a little bit messy. But this one's really fun. So now we are going to go on to our next activity. And this activity also requires us to use a balloon. For this one, we're going to use three balloons because we have three coins. A penny. A dime, so 10 cents, a quarter, which is 25 cents, the penny is 1 cent, and this one looks the most different from the rest, because this one is a different color. These ones have the same color, it's kind of silverish, brownish, and it's small, the quarter, 25 cents is pretty big. So what we're going to first do is choose our balloon. I actually won. A red balloon with like little dots, polka dots. Not a blue one, but let's do the red. No, actually, let's, let's do an orange. Let's do an orange. So what we're going to do is put the penny inside of the balloon. And make sure it goes all the way inside before we move on to the next step. Or put it all the way in. The penny might be the easiest one. The quarter, the 25 cents is probably going to be hard. So I have the penny inside. So now that we have it inside, we're going to blow it. And make sure you blow it gently. This one can also pop, so be very careful when you blow. And the thing is, you guys can make it as big as you want. But make sure that you guys when you are done blowing it you guys can use one hand only and you guys don't need to use two hands just one hand so let's keep blowing i'm happy with that i'm gonna tie a knot so one thing i want you guys to know is kind of but once you have a coin inside the balloon, do not drop the balloon, do not throw the balloon because it will definitely pop. And I know because I dropped a balloon and I threw a balloon and it popped. Now we can spin the balloon. So we're gonna put the palm of our hand over the mouth and the neck of the balloon. So we'll make sure we can cover it with our palm. And then make sure that the fingers and the thumb are grabbing the sides of the balloon. And now And uh, we're going to move our hand in a, like a rapid circular motion, rotating our hand, but using only our wrist, not our arm, just our wrist. And we're going to spin. And maybe in the beginning, the penny may be bouncing, but that's okay. The penny will eventually spin inside the balloon. So once the penny begins to spin, you should be able to hear a noise. Can you guys hear it? What does it sound like? Someone told me it sounded like air. Can you see the penny? Can you use your sense of sight? Your eyes? If you guys can't see it, bring it closer to the light. So my light source is up there. 
I may need to bring the balloon kind of close to the light so I can see it spin. Now, after a while, we can stop spinning and see how long it takes for the penny to stop spinning. This one may not be the best balloon to use. I used another balloon and it worked better. So let's stop. I can still hear the balloon, I mean the penny spin. I can still see it. It's still spinning. Isn't that crazy? It's taking so, it's spinning so many times, still spinning, even though I haven't moved my arm at all, my wrist. There, it finally stopped. It took really long. That's pretty cool. So now we're gonna move on to the dime, the 10 cents, and I'm actually gonna try a different balloon just because this one didn't really work that well. I couldn't really hear that much sound. I'm gonna use a red one. Put in the dime inside. Oh, this one was actually the fastest. Let's put inside. Now we're gonna blow. Like I said, do not drop it, do not throw it, or else your balloon will pop. So we're going to spin it. Again, shaking our wrist. There, this balloon actually works the best. Can you guys hear the sound? Okay, now let's stop. Let's see how long it takes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37 seconds until the dime stops spinning. That is very long, a very long time. So, I recommend you guys use this, this kind of balloon, the red one. Do not use a balloon with polka dots. It will not work. I just learned that right now. Use the red balloon. Or any balloon like this that has nothing on it. Lastly, we are going to do the quarter. So, the 25 cents. Now, I'm going to use the yellow balloon this one's actually very hard to put inside of the balloon but let's do our best you guys can use the neck to push the quarter in there it is now we blow again the balloon this a little bit more I can still hold it with one hand just not too much because I'm afraid it's gonna pop I did not there you go cover the neck and the mouth with a palm fingers and thumb to the sides 
and then rotate with your arm. Right now it's bouncing. There it is. Can you guys hear the noise? Kind of sounds like a, a whistle. Maybe air. Okay, we're gonna stop and count how many seconds it takes. Ready? Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen seconds. So the quarter took sixteen seconds until the quarter stopped spinning. And the dime took 37, 30 something seconds to stop spinning. That's pretty cool. So why do you guys think that the dime, the 10 cents, stopped spinning for 37 seconds? It took long to stop spinning, but the quarter stopped spinning first. You know, maybe it could be because of how heavy the quarter is and how light the dime is, maybe how small the dime is, how big the quarter is, maybe those could be the reasons. And I found that the yellow balloon, if you want to be able to see the coin inside of the balloon very easily without having to use the light, you guys should use the yellow balloon. The red one, you can sort of see it, but you need the light a lot. And you guys may not be able to see it. Only I, I can. It's kind of like right down here. So this is honestly pretty cool activities. What do you guys think? I hope honestly you guys really enjoy this activity. You guys try it out at home and then share with us your activity. You guys show your, you know, your stress balls. What kind of expression did your balloon make? Was it happy, angry, sad? What does it feel like, sound like? Um, yeah, does it bounce? Did your balloon pop when you guys were, you know, pressing on it, squeezing and stretching it? Does your balloon stretch? Stress ball. Sh show us if your but the quarter and the penny work. If they if they made the a sound, the dime, the penny, the quarter. What sound did it make? How long did it take for you guys for your penny, your dime, your quarter to stop spinning? I hope you guys can come back again uh, later on in the day. We're gonna be having another activity with. Taylor and I go hope you guys can go and watch it. We're gonna have other activities. So at 1 p.m. We're gonna have arts and crafts with Taylor and the time zone is Eastern And then later on we're gonna have a couple other activities and bedtime stories And we're gonna actually have a very a very special guest at the end of the day at 9 p.m. He is an author his name I'm probably gonna butcher it but I hope you guys can go listen to him read and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day have a good Sunday spend it with your family and friends well family or whoever you're with you guys have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow on Monday hope you guys can come on Monday and watch me do an activity we're gonna have so much fun Okay, have a good day. Bye.